So, I'm Shazzy, and today we're gonna react to the Planet Cyclops compilation by Cyclops Recordings. I just decided to make another reaction because there's quite a few huge names on here, and I'm actually really excited about some. So let's just get into it with the first track. Ace Aura and Subtronics Resist. Nice art. Okay, that's the Subtronic sound design. Melodies are also more Subtronics, I think. Breakbeat. You shall not survive. Okay. Do not try to resist. Ooh. That's a short drop. Okay. Double drop. Nice sample. That's a Tronics. Definitely. Ooh, that's so invasive. Lots of changes. I appreciate that. Okay. First drop didn't blow me away. Like, yeah, it's pretty good and had some cool flows. But I didn't find it incredible. Probably because it's not really my kind of style that I listen to the most, but the double drop was really good. It was really invasive and definitely more Subtronic sound design than Asaurus. So, pretty solid so far. That's a cool fake up though. I actually like that a lot. The flow here is so good. Yeah, okay. Um, you know, I can't really criticize it a lot because it is well made, but just not really my cup of tea. Um, I always appreciated Asora for how much influence he had on the color base scene, but I always found his music to be just good, but not mind blowing for me. But I know a lot of people who love his stuff. So, uh, yeah, I, I appreciate this track. I like that, um, hard hitting double drop. It did, I love those really, Invasive short stabs. The melodic parts were good too, had some great flows, but yeah, that's all I could say. Also, awesome sample. My mango. Alright, next track Level Up Velvet Crossbow. Okay. Solid. Pretty simple intro, I guess. Intro didn't really get me going, but let's see. Break yourself, fool. Yep. Very straightforward. It's lacking the impact for me. Yeah, I don't know why, but something is missing for sure. Like the drop barely had any impact, I think. It was okay, I guess. The sound design was very straightforward as well. So, uh, this, this is a bit disappointing so far. 
but I can definitely see level up improving. Break your, break your, break yourself. Okay. Yeah, some of these patterns are pretty fun, but I don't know. I can't really put my finger on it, but it just lacks impact. Drums were okay, sound design was straightforward, but I don't think it was bad. Uh, the, I like the melody, the off drops, but yeah, overall, I don't know. I can't really put my finger on what is missing, but it's just lacking impact. So yeah, I really hope Level Up improves more. Like this is better than the previous track, I think. I really remember though. And I really hope she improves. Right, next track, um, Deviate by Patience. I've been fucking adoring Deviate's music as of late, so I'm very excited. Uh, let's go. That's a great atmosphere. Now it becomes darker. At first it was like still pretty calming, but now that those horns come in. Sample work on point. I'm so fucking excited. I can't headbang because I lose my headphones. <laughs> this leg of kick is so fucking insane. Straight to another to another drop. His sound design is so invasive and I love it so much. That's a real combination, these drums and that sound design. Oh, that's, a, that's another snare. I mean, okay. It was a bit less powerful than the first drop, but it was, it was still good, it was still good. I think sometimes the drums and the sound design didn't really complement each other well. Straight to another drop. <laughs> But yeah, it's still so fucking good. DVA doesn't disappoint. Stop! <laughs> what the fuck, dude? Holy shit! This lack of kick, it's so, so good. Holy shit, I love his stabby and really invasive sound design so much. Those drops cut so fucking deep. <sighs> fucking awesome. Yeah, as good as I was expecting. Double drop was a bit less energetic than the other drops, but it, it, that was still good and I mean, it switches up more than enough. First drop is already really invasive and hot hitting. It's just Deviate's usual sound design, I guess. 
Really nice atmosphere in the intro as well, I like that. Double drop was a nice switch up, although it was, I think, a bit less energetic than the other drops. But yeah, that third drop definitely makes up for it, because holy shit, that fake out. It was, I don't know what way, why did it hit so much harder than the first drop? Uh, it was probably because of the pitching of the stabs, but yeah, that was pretty insane. That fake out though, that is on another level. Okay, really good track. Next track, Nightcrawler by Cyclops. Nice speed. And atmosphere as well. I can't make out what the sample is saying. I heard something about Prey. Ooh, that is dark. Ooh, you can already hear the sound design a little. That can be very good. Whoa! Okay, that's exactly what I was hoping for. Such a clean sound design. It's like such a dull metallic sound. Ooh. Ooh, it's a bit more threatening. Oh, that's so fucking clean. Drums are fucking clean as well. Yeah, that's really good. I love stabby, really clean and still pretty hard hitting sound design. Ooh. That flow of the percussion. That was sick. Yeah, that was really good. I didn't find it as insane as I was expecting, but yeah, still really clean sound design. It was, again, really invasive, and I love that so much. Oh, now it pitches uh, uh, down. I'm not sure how well that works. It's still good. I would have liked a more apparent switch up, I think. Not only pitching down. That's a short drop. But I guess it works. I love that flow with this percussion. Yeah. Okay. Solid track, for sure. Um. First drop was really invasive, it again cuts really deep, the sound design is incredibly clean. I think with pitching the stabs up, it works a lot better than pitching them down like in the second drop. I think I would have liked a pattern change, because I think he could have done a really insane switch up for the second drop. I mean, the sound design is really short, stabby, he, you could, he could have done a lot of really insane flows and patterns with it. So I found it a bit underwhelming to just make the sound in the second drop pitch down. But it's still decent though. It's just not as good as the first drop in my opinion. But yeah, um, nice sample, um, nice atmosphere in the off drops again. Yeah, overall, pretty good tune. Next track, Tynan, Draw from the Void. Tynan has been really disappointing for me lately. Um, I love... I fucking adore his older stuff. He's during that time he was my favorite hybrid trap producer. So it was really sad to see to just not like his recent stuff. I really hope this makes up for it though. I know he can do it because he's really talented. His stuff is usually so well produced. It's just that his recent stuff just didn't really appeal to me a lot. So yeah. Let's go. Bleep boops. Another breakbeat. Why does everyone know how to get me going? Drum bass? 
Oh shit. Okay, Titan's Rubber Band is good as well. It's kind of silly as well, because of that weird orange trumpet sound. <laughs> okay. That's good. That's good. That's a lot of stuttery. <laughs> okay, okay. That is insane. Okay, okay, okay. You made up for bro. Good shit. This sound design is something so fucking silly and stupid. I can't help but smile. But it's still so hard hitting and oh god it's so good. I love how he takes his how he doesn't really take this music so too seriously. He's just having fun. I gotta pause for a second. I really love how he doesn't really take his music too seriously. I mean, of course he does, but you can just hear in his sound design and general tracks that he often just has a lot of fun making them. And sometimes the sound design is really silly. And I mean, it's really apparent here, but, and I love it so much. So yeah, let's continue. Lo love the rave stats as well. Switch up. What the fuck? This is some giant field stuff. <laughs> That's a loud sound. Nice siren. What the fuck? It's so clean. It's like so held back, but still mm, so heavy. Ooh, long outro, it seems. Yeah, like I said, often pretty silly sound design that I just love about Tynan. And then. Mm, then it was just pretty fucking insane. It was so clean, so just, it cut so deep, those switches. Holy shit. Yeah, that outro is really good as well. Yeah, I think I really said everything. That's, that's just tiny for you. Really versatile with his genres. He can make mid-tempo, he can make DMB, he can make trap, he can make dubstep. All of it, he can do really well. I appreciate that about him. <laughs> I'm really glad. This wasn't disappointing. That was just, that was one of the cleanest tracks I've heard from Tynan actually. It had some resemblance with like something that Gyrofield would make. And I mean, I love both. So yeah, good shit, good shit. Next track is The Lion, Try Not Fit In. The Lion is a very, very heavy producer. I like his stuff all the time, but he's made Incredible tracks like Radioactivity. That's still one of my favorite tarot tracks, I think. Yeah, that one's insane. So I hope this is on the same level. Very dark. But also pretty simple. I like that bleep boop. Nice bass in the background as well. Has kind of an acid feel. Whoa! That's not what I know from him. That 
That's such a good flow! Love those breaks. So good. Double drop. Dude! This is such a good flow. And it's not what I know from the lion. I mean, I know that telephone sustain in the breaks. That I know. But like, this snare. And the sound design with those really nice flowing patterns, I, I don't know. I didn't know that the line would make something like this, but it's good. Not incredible, but I really love the flow. Sometimes the sound design isn't too impactful. Yeah, okay, now I don't, I don't find this as powerful. I mean, it's good. It's definitely good. And really unique, I think, for the line. I might be wrong. But, yeah. The sub control is great. Yeah, sometimes I find those telephone sustains in the brakes. Like, not really fitting to the general sound design. Um, I really appreciate this track. I, I have not heard something like this from D-Lion. It's definitely appreciated. It's not my favorite from him, but yeah. It, it's good. It's pretty fucking good. I don't like long down rises. So. Next track, Crystal Fang by Yandi. Jandy. Uh, I think I've heard good things about this. <laughs> okay. Why does this remind me of um, Star Wars breaks? I think it's because of those breaks and then that sustain coming in. Let's over bang and sour break though. It's good. Stop. Ooh! Holy shit, that percussion look. Wait. There! Holy shit, what is that? It's so good! Okay, that is really fucking good. It gets better. Okay. Yeah, at first I wasn't really blown away. It was like a staple, kind of unique rhythm track, I guess. It reminded me a bit of Starbo Break because it had a, it had the same structure or a similar one at least. I love the second part though because because of that weird, really clean percussion. That part was was really good. Also nice midsection. I like that. Oh. Whoa, whoa! Okay! That was a pretty fucking insane back up. Okay. I don't find this amazing. But it's good. It has some really insane parts, like that percussion at the end of each bar. That thing, oh, it's so good. Good shit. Very solid, very solid rhythm track. Sound design wasn't my favorite, but ideas were pretty good. Um, and I generally appreciate the idea. There was there were some insane aspects to it. Like like I said, that weird percussion thing, that weird feel so fucking good sound design was decent as well didn't really blow me away and intro and midsection were good as well so overall a decent track i'd say next track wiley jordan moody and Rekno with acid ears acid ears 
Y'all confusing me. Very badass vocal. Put it sick. <laughs> I don't know what to think of this. Like it's more of a sound design showcase than really a proper drop. I like the off drops, I like the sample and the beat, but the drop, the sound design was good, but I don't think they were implemented and executed well. Nice sub. Okay. Very trippy, very deep. Nice laser. Okay. I think this kind of sound design has kind of grown out of me a little. I can see some people loving this and I definitely appreciate it, but I don't think this track is really for me. Like I said, my sample, but the first drop was more of a like, sound design showcase. I don't think those different sounds and basses would really fit a lot to each other. Second drop was very deep, very sub-focused, just kind of freeform bass-ish. So yeah, pretty solid, I'd say, but not necessarily for me. Next track, Agony and Umbro. Agony can make some fucking insane tunes, so I'm excited. Oh, already very upbeat. These intros are so good. Okay. I wonder what the drop is. Oh. That high end is evil. But it doesn't hurt. Holy shit! That's Agony's staple, really, really fucking invasive sound design that I love. And the offbeat patterns. <sighs> yes. That's exactly what I love about Agony. Oh, dude. This is exactly what I hope for. Really deep cutting sound design by Agony. Sick. Okay. That's the most unique miss section so far, I think. Holy shit. He really expands on it. Wow. This confused me for a sec because of the snare changes. Okay, I think it's a bit more low key now. Nice snare placement though. Okay, chill. I, I appreciate the experimentation here. Updrops were good. First drop was insane. And sorry if I didn't really react to it uh, as 
violently as I did in my Without God Season 9 reaction. I just woke up, so I might not have the most energy, but trust me, this is really good. Second drop wasn't as good. The sustains didn't appeal to me a lot. I like how aggressive they were, but yeah, they had really invasive sound design. The really invasive sound design um, was a bit more low-key in the second drop and then that sustained twist drop. was a nice idea, I appreciate the experimentation with the snare and generally the, his sound design. But yeah, sadly it didn't really appeal to me too much. It was still good, but overall this was still a really fucking good track. Midsection was incredible, first drop was also incredible, second drop was just decent, but overall good, really good. Next track, Bar Mitzvah Disaster by Subtronics. Phenomenal title. What the fuck? Electronics for you. Why does this work? It's so silly and weird. But oh god, that's so fucking unique. And it's just subtronics all over. Insane sub. Weird drums that for some reason work. That's that's good. I say it. The percussion is actually pretty nice. The side chaining is so weird as well. But <laughs> I don't mind. That was such a fucking weird track. Uh, very short tune. Um, off drops didn't really have anything to them, really. The drops were so weird. Like, really distorted and like, it just screams subtronics. It was kind of, what's the word? It's, yeah, it's kind of trippy and really sub heavy. I don't know how he does it, but subtronics always manages to just make a track that is just him, even though it's like pretty different from his usual stuff. But you can instantly, instantly hear that it's Subtronics. Maybe because this is like a track I've never heard and in any way, shape or form before. But yeah, it's a weird track that I think I'll need a few more listens to to really say if I like it or not. I mean, I find it really cool and I appreciate it, but I'm not sure if I would be coming back to it necessarily. Next track, Jekyll and Hyde, Chessie with Death Store. Jekyll and Hyde has some pretty sick stuff, so let's see. Another break beat. Uh, is that possible despite oh, no. the fact that no energy is given up? Only those. So very cinematic. According to your theory, then, the, the dead are in a constantly moving system. Yes, yes, yes. Very dark and cinematic. Wow. I don't know what to expect. Wow! <laughs> Incredibly clean, again. That's good, that's good. Wow, that delay! Holy shit! That delay is insane. So good. Holy shit. Wow. 
not what I expected in the fucking slightest. Still, incredibly clean, drums fit well, and surprisingly enough switch up. Sound design like switches it up enough, gets a lot of delay and all that. Good. Leap loops. That's actually insane. I need to I need to listen to that leap loop switch up again. That's exactly how I love it. like the sound design again sounds so dull but that makes it so heavy oh, wow and that's not even the end I hope it doesn't get boring now That panning is so insane, and it, wow, that is impressive. Again, the delay. That is so much more impressive than one would usual, usually think. Some people might not like it, but I love it, and I find this incredibly impressive, actually. Okay. At first, it was a really good drop, I really liked that dull metallic sound, but it didn't really have a lot to it, it was just duh, 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 duh. But it was still good, it was still really clean and pretty hot hitting, but then it just switched up, and in the second part it switches up to like the same sound design, but uh, every second duh, <laughs> it becomes like really insanely delayed and like really sporadic, and I really love that. That's like such a subtle switch up but it like adds to the heaviness so fucking much and then that second drop which is just really bleep bloopy and again has the same pattern it's really good it again has the same pattern it's it's really good and it's it's like bleep bloopy and you know how much i love my bleep bloops it's really good really good switch up i wish it went on for longer because i think it, that part was really short then it became and then it went back to the um dull metallic sound design and then the third drop which i find the fucking most impressive it's again really similar to the first drop but the way they play with the panning of each sound in the background there's like so much ear candy to it it's like again pretty fucking subtle but it's so fucking good and i really appreciate that it is a really straightforward sound design the patterns don't switch up a lot and I usually get bored. But they managed to like really impress me with a pretty with with this kind of sound design because of the way they switched up the drops and because of the way they played with the panning and how much ear candy they thrown in and how subtle the switch ups were. I really appreciate that. I really appreciate that. Okay, next track. This is so gonna break me. This track's gonna fucking break me. Aladurp and Joby. A collab for the gods. The tread tile is vexed. I'm not, f I'm f not fucking ready for this, but. I haven't been this excited for a track in a long time. I've been waiting to play this. Feels kind of old school. Ooh. 
nice progression. Breakbeat! This is already insane. Reverb usage. Stop start. So good. I can already hear the percussion. Drop beat snare. What the fuck? So the man you can't jet. <laughs> Self is insane. What? Dude. I miss this so much. I need a fucking drop beat EP. Flawless. Mid sector is so good as well. Such a fucking vibe. That stop start. So good. Sound design in the drops were just insane, insanely clean, production, flawless. <laughs> I can't say a lot to it, but... That's what I thought. Dude, it doesn't stop giving. Um. This doesn't even seem real. <laughs> yeah, it's, it's exactly what I fucking thought. It's a fucking flawless track, honestly. What? Wait. What the fuck was that? Okay. Uh. Any. Anyway. Intro. Amazing. Amazing melody. Amazing stop start implementation. Um. Melody progression was amazing as well. Drops was just. Just made me speechless. At first it was pretty simple, but it was still just so fucking hard hitting. It was so fucking heavy that I couldn't help but headbang to it. And then the second part, which is just staple Joe B, and yeah, it's it's it was staple Joe B. It was just incredibly invasive fucking sound design that is just insane. I haven't heard enough Alan Derb to really say what he contributed. But I bet he did a lot because his track on Sui Generis Volume 4, I think, um, was insane as well. He's incredibly talented as well. Um, so that's why I was so excited for this track because this is a massive collab. I should really listen to Mark Linder because holy shit. But yeah, um, second drop didn't disappoint either. It was just again staple 
Joby and, and Elidurb, definitely. Those drops have like such a stop-start feel. It's so good and it actually plays a lot with uh, empty space. And I think that's why it's so headbangable. Only criticism I might have is that I would like the sound design to be a bit more metallic and a bit more high-end heavy, I suppose. But that's just a nitpick because the sound design is still so fucking insane. Uh, again, comp is getting better. And the next few names are massive, so I'm very excited. Let's continue. Blank Space and Mahir Gamma. Two really fucking good rhythm artists. Sorry if, I get, if like calling them rhythm artists is a bit more is a bit uh, insulting, but that's what I know them for. Both are in incredibly, incredibly good. So I'm excited as well. Very soothing intro, but I think that's gonna change. Invasive again. That's there. Flow. The fucking flow. And the production. Such a fucking vibe, dude. production was insane. Wow. Wow. <sighs> it switches up just enough. How does this fit so well? This might even be better than Vex. Yeah, okay, never mind. <laughs> okay, but but it's still fucking insane and definitely my se second favorite. Why is our why is so many tracks so stabby and have such a stop start sound design, I guess? It's so invasive, it cuts so deep, it's so fucking good, and it's like exactly what I love. Wow. So yeah, sound design was just really pinprick, really clean, production incredible, like flawless. Um melodic switch, didn't expect that at all. And it's like really awesome, like future rhythm, I guess. I'd say so. So fucking good. Wow. <laughs> this whole track is such a fucking vibe. I can't say much more about it. I think I think the second drop only the patterns change, but the structure and general sound design is the same. Um, it's enough of a switch up for sure. Um, and I fucking adore the outro as well. It's like mainly a piano ending and it fits like, it fits perfectly. Wow. Such an impressive track. Next track, Guppy with Ransom. Guppy's fucking good as well. He makes like... 
guppies can be guppy can the guppies stuff can be insane as well. So yeah, watch my um, Ocean Floor EP review. <sighs> this stuff can be really, really good. So I hope this doesn't disappoint. Well, I love that clap. So forward thinking. Wow! I don't know why, but I find this insanely impressive. Such a simple intro, but there's just so much to it that I find impressive. Okay. <laughs> Oh, I love that. I don't know how to describe the sound design. It's like the musical representation of an error, of a computer error. I think Guppy has also found his signature sound design and I appreciate it. I can see some people not liking this, but I love it. It's so unique, so forward thinking, the off drops as well. Like, have you heard anything like that? Wow. Like, I can't describe the sound design, but it's really unique. It's really impressive. And yeah, like I said, it kind of sounds like a computer error. Like, it has just been given a beat. Okay. <laughs> I love those breaks so much. So fucking unique, dude. I can definitely hear as well. That Guppy had a ton of fucking fun making this. It's a signature sound, what can I say? Can't really describe it. Like, it's, it's such a silly and weird sound design. It just keeps going. What's up? Yeah. Off drops, I actually find the most impressive out of all. So much ear candy, so much to it. So unique. I really appreciate this track. It didn't blow me away, but I definitely appreciate it for, for what it is. Good shit. Next track, DK Secrecy with Voltage. Okay. Both artists can make really good shit, so. That siren is so fitting! Those patterns! <laughs> the 
since I'm supposed to review this. Because I really, I, I can't, I can't really do that. I can't handle another drop, dude. Why did he have to switch up the snap? Sure. Okay. I'm back now. I was really worried that this part wasn't going to be as powerful, but... Wow. Wow, okay. Mm -hmm. Yeah, mm -hmm. yeah, mm -hmm. Wow, very serene outro. Fuck you. Like, holy shit! Have I already mentioned that I like invasive sound design that's like really stabby and deep cutting? It's the pinnacle of exactly the sound design that I love. It's like the fucking cherry on top. Second drop uh, is a bit le Don't tell me. No! My phone is about to die though, so that sucks a fucking lot. Um, yeah, uh, <laughs> insane sound design, second part of each drop is a bit less powerful, but still fucking insane. I did expect it to be as insane as it is. It's still really deep cutting, patterns are amazing, and it was, it has still so much tension to it. Fucking love it. Incredible track. Honestly, my favorite, actually, so far. Um, and now I have to charge my fucking phone. That sucks. All right. My phone is charging, it's a fucking mess on my table now, but I want to finish recording. <sighs> okay, yeah, what I wanted to say, I think I already said I think I already said everything, but it's an insane track. Absolutely incredible, truly. And it gets in my favorite um, playlist. Next track. Ravif Ravification by Ripple. Okay. Wow. Don't tell me this is gonna be bass hose. I'd be incredibly surprised if it is. No way. No way. That sample is incredible. It fits so well. It's such a feel-good bass house track. I did expect that here. I didn't expect it at all. Was that were that Tom's? 
I didn't expect it on here. Not in the slightest, but it's a very welcome surprise. I can't say much, it's like pretty simple bass house with a really vibey vocal sample that fits into the, in the drop really well. Um, yeah, bass, bass was very simple, very straightforward, like bass house is. But still such a fucking vibe. Drums were insane as well. Sorry about this. Such a fucking vibe. What else can I say? I think I already said everything. It's just a vibe. And I love those toms. Or, or bongos, actually. I love the percussion. Didn't really expect such a track after DK's and Secrecy's tune. But okay. Those bongos. So good. And also a bit of ear candy in the background. Wow. Didn't expect that. It just keeps going. Yeah, I think it ends here though. Okay, stop. A very welcome surprise. Didn't expect that. Vocal sample, as I said, again, really fucking vibey. Otherwise, solid bass house beat. I don't think the off drops had a lot to him, but yeah. I also like the bongos in the second part of the drop I think also had a bit of ear candy and overall it's just a pure vibe I can see some people not liking this but I'm very open to pretty much all kinds of music so there's a lot of stuff that I really like and this is definitely um, part of it next track Dr. Lobster with Head Rush I've heard good things about Dr. Lobster so I'm excited That is an amazing intro. Wow! What the fuck? Wow, holy shit! <laughs> Pet is insane. Such an upbeat pattern, holy shit! Sound design is incredible. Wow! <laughs> I didn't expect that. I didn't expect that. In the slightest. Wow, that is incredible. That is insane. Melody in the off drop, incredible as well. Wow. That's like the only thing I can say right now. I think the clap could be a bit more out there. Oh, but the sound design. Patterns again. I also love that laser sound. Drops were actually pretty long, but switch up more than enough. I find the sound design actually not really anything new, but for some reason it was still so incredibly hot hitting. Um, drums were okay, I think the clap could be a bit more out there, that's, but that's like my only criticism I have here. This is an insane track, it was, it caught me so off guard with that first drop, but like in the best way possible, it wasn't off-putting at all, it was just insane, fucking great job, wow. Next track, Akuma Naklia. Hmm. 
Nice scream. <laughs> Triplet? Flow is actually really good. Chill. Wow, okay. It keeps getting better. Incredible patterns, actually. Sound design, I think I've already heard before, quite a few times, similar. But it was still really good. I love the flow and the patterns. Vocal sample, I love as well. And yeah, generally, sound design was pretty good. Even though it's like, not the most forward thinking, it definitely works. I think the drums, could be a bit more out there as well, but yeah. Otherwise, that drop was really good. Didn't blow me away, but it's still, it was still really good. Why should I have to bring in such an amazing fill? DUDE! Love the bass so much! Yeah, that snare is a lot better. I'm getting into it more. Wow, I love those slower basses included with the like really, really fucking fast um, stabby basses. Really good. <laughs> Best part was honestly the, that fucking fill. Wow. Woo. Okay. Um, the only really criticism I have, um, personally, like it's still personal taste, but I didn't really like that clap snare thingy in um, the first part of each drop, I think. It was a bit weak, but that snare change is great. Sound design, I've heard before, but I think execution was still amazing. Patterns, really sporadic, really fast and hard hitting. Flow was really good as well, and I mean, yeah. I don't think the off drops had a lot to him. It was just a bit of ambient noises with like slight melodicity. But yeah, that's, I think, all I have to say, but my favorite part was definitely that fucking fill. That was so insane. <laughs> okay. Next track. Amorphic by Bad Kid. Oh, Bad Kids by Amorphic. I haven't heard of Amorphic ever. Seems to be fairly underground as well. So let's see. Very soothing intro. Wow. Nice expansion on this intro. Very beautiful. Love the synths. Love the atmosphere. That piano. And now it changes. This could be incredibly good or bad. Bad kids. Okay. I didn't expect that. 
<laughs> Why does the door? That's a lot jumpier than I expected. And for some reason it fits, even though it's like so disconnected from the intro. Like, that's good sounds, but something here doesn't quite work with me. Yeah, the double drop is a bit um, disappointing. I think I, I found the first drop a lot better. I hope, I really hope this drop is gonna be melodic. That would be an incredible switch up. But yeah, double drop was, nah, a bit disappointing. But I found that first drop really good. I find the samples not fitting. So squeaky and metallic. Okay, that's good. Please don't tell me that's a 30 second download though. Yeah, that was unnecessary. <laughs> but okay, yeah. Um, there were some parts that I found really, really good and some parts that I found just weird. Um, so, off drops, incredible. Melody, beautiful. I love how I expanded on them a bit more, but um, yeah, but the drops are very disconnected from the midsection and intro. Um, luckily the first drop and the last drop was really good, still. It was really jumpy, I f for some reason I love the drums. Sound design was kind of squeaky and metallic and uh, all, all kinds of silly, honestly. But it was just really jumpy and fun still. Um, double drop had a lot less impact for some reason. Yeah, okay, it, it had still some good parts, but it was definitely less powerful and uh, hot hitting, I guess. But yeah, um, first drop and... Last drop was still really good, really jumpy, really fun. Um, another criticism I had was that many of the samples didn't fit at all and were, were just really off-putting to me. Like, I, I know this track, like, Morphe probably had a lot of fun making it. I can definitely see that. And I mean, we're proud to him. It's just my personal opinion, but yeah, um, many of the samples were just off-putting and kind of cringy. But otherwise, it's a good track. Like, Double Drop, eh, no, but... Other drops were really good, and Melody and the off drops were amazing. So overall, pretty good track. Next track, Time to Die by Stone to Level. Okay. Nice intro. It's like, it's good. Not exactly my cup of tea, but it's still, it's still good. Okay. Nice delay. Nice. That was good. Really deep, really swampy. And honestly, kind of reminded me of a Muerte x Sun Death collab. That's a compliment. I mean, the drop is really good. Yeah, this reminds me a bit of Sun Death. And the drop is like Muerte x Sun Death, honestly.
Okay, it's actually good. This love of jumping. <laughs> Extremely solid. I think I already said everything. Very swampy, very deep sound design, kind of in a good way disgusting. Um, decent drums. Uh, and yeah, this kind of reminds me of a Muerte and Sun Death collab. And that's a compliment. It's a good track. It's a good track. Um, love the tension, love the kind of slight, very slight melodicity in the drops. Um, at least in the first part of each drop. It isn't exactly the kind of music that I go off to the most, but I definitely can appreciate it. It's it's really good. It's a, it's a really good track. And I think after a few listens, this might even this might even uh, blow my mind a bit because because the production is actually really impressive. So it might only be a matter of time. Next track, Mind Eater by DDD. Very dark. It's kind of a tension. Ooh. Oh. Uh. Okay. Wow. I was expecting that sustain to have the melody that the intro had, but this is good too, especially that part. Mm. Nice sample. Wow! This is actually really good. Okay, I didn't expect that to like it as much as I do. Um, I think that's DDD's usual sound design, but I didn't expect it to be this good. I don't remember it being this good. The sustain at first was off-putting, honestly, but I got into it slowly. The bass backed up behind that were really good, really fitting. Drums were in in amazing, actually. And yeah, the parts where there were only the basses without the sustain were my favorites, honestly. Good! Insanely solid. I can see people loving this for sure. And it's good. It doesn't blow me away, I say. Okay. Solid. I think I already said everything. Nice bases. Sustain is decent. A bit of putting at first. But yeah. Off drops were nice. Simple melody, simple little sounds in the background. Um, yeah, pretty solid DDD track. Good. All right. Um, last track, Fly with Phoenix. I'm so exhausted. Decent intro. Bit boring. Didn't expect that. <laughs> uh, 
that's quite vibey. Again, a very deep and sub heavy track. Does it kind of grow off me a little? But this is still a vibe. Very clean. Like such subtle sounds in the background that I really appreciate. It's okay. It's definitely good. Drums, very clean. Production is good as well. I definitely appreciate it as a track. Just not really my cup of tea anymore. I think back then I would have enjoyed it a lot more. Yeah, okay. It's really good. The flow is surprisingly jumpy. Love that melodic breakdown. I mean, yeah. Nice ending. Nice kind of chill, vibey, deep ending to this comp. Nice. Nice. It's a good track. For me, not amazing, but it's definitely a vibe and still a playlist ad. And honestly, Nearly this whole comp is a playlist that there's many one, two or three tracks that I don't really enjoy as much. But wow, there were a lot of fucking bangers. Yeah, first track is just pretty staple color base. I think it's still vibey and still a playlist ad, um, especially because of the double drop. Second drop is pretty disappointing, but I can definitely see level up improving. I definitely want to see her get better and better because... She definitely has the potential. Deviate, insane. Dude, doesn't disappoint. Cyclops track was incredibly clean. Production really satisfying to listen to. But otherwise, there wasn't too much to it. Um, I still really appreciate the tune, for sure. Um, Tynan's track was so refreshing to hear. Um, I was so fucking glad that it just made a track that I just can't vibe to again. And actually had some insane parts, so I definitely appreciate it. D-Lion's track wasn't at all what I expected, but it was a very welcome surprise. It was really vibey for some reason. Um, it didn't blow me away, but still a good track. The Yandi track didn't really blow me away either, but it had a bit of resemblance with Stabo Break by Akios. Yeah, it had definitely some really good parts and aspects to it, like that really weird clanky percussion that sometimes came in. I love that. That was my favorite part of the whole tune, actually. Um, yeah, otherwise, pretty staple, I guess, rhythm track. Acidies was a pretty weird track, in my opinion. Uh, first it was, like, more of a weird sound design showcase. It didn't, many had didn't really have any correlation to each other. Second drum was very deep, um, a bit more coherent. But, like I said before, like, that deep dub stuff isn't exactly my style anymore, I'd say. It was still good, production is pretty nice, but yeah, not necessarily for me. The Agony tune, insane. Like, wow, it's, exa it's a, like exactly what I love most about Agony's style. So, really good shit there. Um, Bar Mitzvah Disaster was, like, so fucking weird, but still screen subtronics. Um, extremely distorted, extremely sub bass heavy, but still a pretty good track, albeit very, very short. Death Store was actually incredibly impressive. At first it was just good, but then I realized that, that it switches up so in such a subtle way, so often and so much, and the way the, those subtle switch-ups came to happen was just overall really, really impressive for me. Okay, I hope this works. My fucking phone still went off, even though it was charging. So now I have to fucking film with my webcam and this beautiful fucking microphone. Anyway, yeah, the next track was... Um, the next track was Vexed by Aladurp and Joe B. The insane track. It didn't disappoint in the fucking slightest. It was exactly what I expected. Just a really mindless, incredibly well-produced, 
Headbanger. And, but surprisingly, this wasn't my favorite from the comp. I'll come to that later. Next track, well, next track was Gamma by Black Space and Mahir, which was mind blowing. Um, I fucking loved the drop. Incredible production again. And that melodic switch up in each second part of the drop. So good. Such a vibe. And overall, again, very impressive track. It honestly looks like I'm fucking getting inducted by God. Anyway, the next track was Ransom, which was a very unique t tune. It was like staple guppy, I'd say. Really unique, really forward thinking, like nothing you've ever he heard before. I really appreciate that. Um, next track was Voltage by DK and Secrecy. It made me speechless. Like, holy oh, shit. It was so so good so fucking good I get that's all I have to say um next track <laughs> next track was Ravification by Ripple I didn't expect something like that at all it's a really vibey bass house track with an amazing um, vocal sample that fits so well into the drop um, I can definitely see some people not liking this but for me it was just a pure vibe Next track is Head Rush by Dr. Lobster, and that was just impressive. I didn't expect to like it as much as I do, but um, even though the sound design I've definitely heard before, it was still so fucking hot hitting, and production, wow, um, it switches up just enough. Overall, it was, again, just a really, really heavy rhythm track, um, and actually also one of my favorites it was really really good next track was Naclea by Akuma a very good track actually yeah sound design I've definitely heard before on other tracks but I think the execution was still good it still had a lot of great aspects to it um, the drums could have been a bit more out there at least the in the first part of each drop I think um, the best part of the track was actually the fucking fill after the second drop fake out like you could see I was very taken aback in the best fucking sense possible Amorphic Bad Kids had some great aspects to it had some not so great aspects to it um, it was very weird it was but but melodies were incredible drops at least first and last were very jumpy very fun um, but the double drop was pretty disappointing not really disappointing but definitely less powerful and appealing to me than the um, first and um, third drop. Plus, I didn't like many of the samples. I found them to be very cringy. Then, Time to Die by Stone Level, which, uh, what, which like I said, reminded me a bit of Sun Death and Muerte. Muerte? Muerte? Um, very good track. Very hot hitting, very deep, very swampy. Then God Eater by DDD, which is also a really good track. I didn't really remember DDD being that good but it was definitely a really hot hitting rhythm track good shit and then the last track Phoenix by Fly which is also a pretty good track not very much my cup of tea anymore but yeah I still really appreciate the track it was still good very deep very vibey actually and I can definitely vibe to it from now and then and yeah overall really good comp so like three four or five insane tracks and that's kind of rare like in disciple roundtable reinforces my on two there were like one and two that were later there that i found to be really good i think it was the exile and um dyadic track but maybe it's something else but anyway Definitely, like I said, there were huge names here, they, were, they did not disappoint, it was a really fun comp, pretty versatile too, so yeah, overall, pretty fucking good. So yeah, that was my reaction and review of Planet Cyclops, if you liked it, make sure to like the video and subscribe to my channel if you want to see more stuff like this. Thank you for watching, I don't have much else to say, so see ya!